Praise the Lord. Greetings to everyone in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today's devotion is on the topic Word of God and Prayer. Let's turn to the book of Exodus chapter 17 verses 8 through 13. Israel now in the wilderness on their way to the promised land, Canaan. They faced Amalekites. They came to attack without any provocation. The Lord God saw this. He noticed this. This was the first fight of Israel. First battle of Israel. Now they are a nation. They have to defend themselves. Our things matter to God. Moses and all the people prayed. Moses went up on the hill to pray, while people and Joshua were down in the valley facing Amalekites. He took the same rod of God in his hands, according to God's commands, and he went up to the mount with the hands up towards heaven. He started praying. So Moses prayed all day. His faith started growing more after seeing the bitter water changing to sweet water. In the past, this time, he with full trust in God and his mighty power for his unfailing love on his people, Moses started praying. When the enemy came to fight against God's people, he went up the hill with the rod and started praying. At the same time, he commanded Joshua down in the valley to lead people in the battle. Moses had no doubt about victory. While praying, he is asking to fight. Our prayers matter much. The enemy fails when the Lord works through our prayer. Dear my listeners, Dear my sisters, our prayers, they don't have power in itself. It is the Lord who works. It is His power that works through our prayers. Prayer in itself has no power. We need to keep praying. Pray persistently so that God can work through our prayers. Aaron and Hur, who were with Moses, they went up with Moses. They had to support his hands. As it was getting heavy with persistent prayer, great battle down in the valley, overwhelmed with heartaches. Moses continued to intercede for the people of God until sunset, until the enemy was defeated, while Aaron and Hur supported his hand to hold the rod up. We need fellow believers' support in prayer. When there is a need to cry to God, everyone should be in it, praying earnestly and continuously for God to work on our behalf through our prayer. We ourselves cannot fight against the supernatural powers of enemy. The Satan. We need a divine power to fight the supernatural power of Satan. Prayer is a great weapon that we have. It should be given humbly into the hands of God so that the Lord will have mercy on us and shall stretch forth his mighty hands against the enemies. It is his power that works. While Moses continued with his intercessory prayer for people, down in the valley, Joshua led the people to fight the battle. No one sat idle while Moses was in prayer. People in action, 
acted right away no time to waste enemy right in front of them they put their whole trust in the lord and started fighting the enemy there's a time to pray and wait and there's a time to pray and fight the lord taught them this great lesson and the lord is teaching this lesson to each one of us there's a time to pray and wait and there's a time to pray and fight when the water was bitter they grumbled against moses moses cried out to god in fear and disappointment as the people were ready to stone him to death in verse 4 we read this but this time when the enemy came against them when their lives were threatened and no grumbling from people no fear on moses all fully trusting god for the victory everyone in action moses went to god in prayer and took immediate action and people who were grumbling before and were ready to stone moses before they were now ready to fight against their enemy result of obedience and powerful prayer sometimes we may also face very tough times in life where we have to take immediate actions in certain circumstances we may not have enough time to wait the enemy may be right at the door we should not depend on our own strength or wisdom let's pray first and immediately send out words to fellow believers to support us in prayers then we have to act the danger the imminent danger is there we have to act prayerfully and very wisely as long as moses prayed with his hands held up with the rod in his hands israel prevailed when the hands were down the enemy prevailed so prayer continued until enemy was fully defeated that was until the evening god's wonderful power of work through man's persistent prayer everyone obeyed god's command god's might and man's effort god's power and man's prayer god and man together in work when god's powerful work and man's persistent prayer work together dear my listeners miracles happen ultimately our lord god alone gives the victory and he gets the glory two great weapons against the flesh the word of god and prayer let's keep using these two weapons in humble obedience to our lord jesus christ and his word we shall see his power when we are weak he is strong second corinthians chapter 12 verses 9 and 10 amen